Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In last video, I have shown you how to design this film that is all employee working and how to back and code for this. So if you have not watched my previous video, then just go to the description where I put the link for my previous video or you can simply do one thing, just click on the suggestion on the right side of the screen. So this is going to be the last video of this project because in this video, I'm going to finish this project. Okay. So this is the last module which we have to design that is the lead employee. So let's start with that. So I'm going to close this one. And first thing as usual, what we have to do is we have to actually add new form. So right click on this, click on add and select form. And here I'm going to name this form leaved employee. Hit enter. New form is added. First thing what we have to do is we have to remove the form border. So let me do that. Form border style, change this one to none. After this, let me set the form size. So I'm going to copy the form size from this one. 875,512. So move back over here, right click and go to properties and search for size. And you have to manually write once 875,512. And after this, what we have to do is we have to set the back color for this one. So let me close this one first because we don't need that right now. So click on this and search for back color 151,48. So move back over here, right click, go to properties, search for back color. You have to just paste it or manually write 151,48,103 and hit enter. After this, what we have to do is we have to add one label. So let me just bring one label. There we go. Change the for color. For color means the front color, the visible color. Change this one to white. Change the text. I'm going to change this one to left employee hit enter after this what we have to do is we have to change the font so click on this century gothic i'm going to change this one to italic and 12 at 12 or 13 i guess i'm going to increase this one this one is looking quite small so 14 yeah this one is looking better after this what i have to do is i have to add one button so button i'm going to use this guna 2 button I hope you all have added the DLL file to this toolbox so that you can use this. So I'm going to minimize this and remove this. If you stuck anywhere, you can directly contact me on Instagram. I will resolve your issue. And one more thing, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon and share with your friends. Okay. So after this, what I have to do is I have to set the image. So click on this local resource, click on import. Select this one, click on OK. And after this, here you can see this, the image is quite small. So here you can see this image size. You can increase the image size, comma 30, comma 30, and hit enter. After this, we have to change the fill color. So let me search for the color code. So 151, comma 48, comma 103. Change this one to fill color. Change this one. After this, you have to change one more stuff. That is the hover state. When you hover, you want to change the color to the same. This means that no effect will be visible when you hover it. Okay. After this, what we have to do is we have to now this button is done over here. Next thing what we have to do is we have to add one data grid view. So data grid view. So just drag and drop it over here. Guna 2 data grid view. Just add it like this. Maximize this. Like this. After this, now over the design part is done over here. So first thing what I have to do is I have to change the design name for this button. So search for that name and I'm going to change this one to PTM exit. Hit enter. Just double click on this and this will generate PTM exit click event. And what I have to do is I have to just close this form when I click on this. So this dot close. That's it. After this, we have to connect this left employee form with the dashboard. For that, move back to the dashboard. Here we go. So click on this and change the design name first. So change this one to BTN lead employee. Just double click on this and this will generate a click event for that. And after this, we have to just create an object for that form. So lead employee LE is equal to new new lead employee le dot show 
like this and now let's check if this works or not so I've started this and sign in click on this yeah this one is working and this button is also working but the thing is it's on the different location I, we have to actually set the coordinates for this one so let me close this and set the coordinate so move back to the design part just double click on this and this will generate a lead employee load event and here what we have to do is we have to set the load event location start position so this dot location is equal to new point 350 comma 170 this is the location so let's start and see if this works or not started this sign in click on this one and here you can see this this one is working next thing what I want is when this form opens the data needs to be visible over this inside this data grid view for that what we have to do is we have to code on the form leave employee load event it means that we have to code here right now so before that we have to create an object of function class so function fn is equal to new function in function class I have actually written the two methods that is get data and set data one is used to fetch the data from the database and another is used to insert the data into the database so if you have not watched my previous video then watch all my previous videos and then watch this one and I need one variable of a string type to actually store the query inside that so string query I have written the name with the query I've taken the variable so query I'm going to write the query query equals select I want all the details select star from new employee where working is equal to no it means that the left no like this now the query is ready next thing what I have to do is working is actually the column name if you are worried about this one so working is column name name new employee is table name okay after this I have to just take a data set I have to write a data set object because the get data fn dot get data is going to get data method is going to return a data set object filled with the data and that data is going to be stored inside this data set okay so inside this we have to pass the query there we go now when this query is fired into the or executed in the database then this state this data set actually contains the data and that data needs to be shown into leaved employee data grid view so the data grid view name is guna2 data grid view dot data source is equal ds dot tables zero like this save this and let's check if this works or not started the project sign in click on this and here you can see this Rohan Kumar is working status is no this one is working fine okay let me close this so all the task is done but here you have observed that when I start this username and password is pre-filled I want to remove this because our project is completed now so for that you move back to the form 1 and select this one and just you need to do one thing what just remove the text from here and hit enter and just remove the text from here too and hit enter so now start this and now when it starts the text will be empty so we have to remove it. type manually and sign in and now here you can observe everything is functional here you can see this okay so now our project is complete here so I hope you enjoyed coding with me and designing all the stuff and I have explained it all in in detail so I have put a lot of efforts and you have to make that effort success by just subscribing and sharing with your friends and just stay tuned for upcoming projects and if you want to purchase then you can simply contact me on instagram you know all of this
Thanks for watching.